Hi. In this video, we will look at how to compute size of a form. How can we know whether a form is too large or too small? So for that, we would use a concept which was initially conceptualized by Rajiv Banker in 1984, which is known as MPSS. MPSS stands for most productive scale size. And to compute this, we have a DEA problem that is the linear programming problem, which is formulated as maximize alpha by beta. This alpha by beta is known as rho subject to lambda j x j less than equal to beta x zero lambda j y j greater than equal to alpha y zero. So beta is a factor for x that is inputs. Alpha is a factor for outputs. Lambda j is equal to one. And we assume that all other all the variables alpha, beta and lambda are greater than equal to zero. That is non negative. But linear programming, the solver or the linear programming problem would not be capable of solving this as this problem is not linear. So what we do is first we try to linearize this. For example, if you see the objective function alpha by beta, alpha by beta is not a linear problem. So instead of alpha and beta, we would use rho. Now, since we have to maximize rho, what would we would do is we would multi uh, divide this constraints by beta. So we would divide both the sides of these constraints by beta. And what we would get is this. So our objective function would be to maximize rho subject to mu xj. Mu is nothing but lambda, sigma lambda divided by beta. That is this sigma lambda by beta. Now we would be called as mu. So mu j x j less than equal to x zero. We can call it sum of weights into inputs is less than equal to input of form under observation. Second constraint sigma mu j y j that is sum of weights into outputs greater than equal to rho y zero. Sigma mu, mu is equal to t since this t can be any unconstrained value because it is lambda j by beta. So lambda j by beta can sum of lambda j by beta is same as lambda uh, sum of mu j's which can take any value t. Beta star is nothing but one by t and alpha is rho by t. Or you can say alpha is rho times beta. So based on this, we would get alpha and beta. And based on alpha and beta, there are conditions to state whether a form is on MPSS an MPSS form. MPSS means most productive scale size. Where this condition is satisfied, that is rho is greater than one alpha star is greater than beta star or beta star is less than alpha star. If second condition one less than beta star less than alpha star, if this is the condition, that is if the values of beta and alpha satisfy this condition, the form is too small from any perspective. Beta star less than alpha star less than one. If this condition is satisfied, then form is too large. And apart from that, beta star less than one less than alpha star, then it is an ambiguous case. So let us look into Excel how to solve this. So in Excel, We have this Excel sheet where we have observations. We have 99 observations of forms. We have output kilowatt R and we have three input labor, fuel and capital. Okay. 
so based on this we will see whether these firms from 1 to 99 are large are small are on mpss that is most productive scale size or are ambiguous case the first thing we need is weights here i am not calling them as lambda weights because we call them as mu weights so weights i take the initial value of weights as 0 i write down unit let us start with unit number 1 here our objective function is to maximize rho you can take any value say 0 or 1 later on our solver or linear programming will optimize that for us we need sum of weights so sum of weights i write formula sum and select the array of weights so this is the sum of weights we need beta beta is 1 by sum sum of weights so 1 divided by sum of weights you select the cell and alpha alpha is rho times beta so it is cell of rho into cell of beta we will get the values when we input uh, and solve input all the constraints and objective function and solve the linear programming now for solving the linear programming problem we need our left hand side and right hand side of the constraint so left hand side right hand side kilowatt r left hand side if you look at the objective function the left hand side is mu xj that is weights multiplied by inputs less than equal to the input of form under observation x0 mu j yj greater than equal to rho y0 let us take second constraint first sigma mu j yj that is some product of weights and output should be okay let us take it one by one some product of outputs and weights now the weights would remain same so i press f4 and fix the weight column so that we can simply drag it so this is some product of output into weights if we drag it it would become some product of labor into weights and similarly it would be for fuel and capital okay now right hand side right hand side of output constraint is rho by 0 so here it would be cell of rho into y0 that is input sorry output of form under observation we use the command index where we select the array of output comma and specify which unit is under consideration that is we select the cell g2 where we have specified the unit number so you can see the output of form under consideration is 8 so 8 would be reflected here now for inputs it is x0 that is inputs of form under consideration so we simply use the formula index select labor the array of labor and unit now i fix press f4 and fix the unit so that we can drag it for other inputs as well so now let us go to solver and what we would specify is maximize the value of rho the constraint related to output constraint related to input and this constraint where mu is equal to t t can take any value t is unrestricted so we do not actually need to specify this constraint so there would be only two constraints 
one is related to output and one is related to input so go to solver select the cell objective cell is row we need to maximize the value of row by changing variable cells where we select weights comma and row these are uh, solution variables now we add constraints one by one for output we have only one output should left hand side should be greater than equal to right hand side click on add select the array of inputs should be less than equal to the array of right hand side that is left hand side less than equal to right hand side click on okay select simplex linear programming and solve so you would you would get the values of row sum betas and alphas okay so beta and alpha value we are getting here which is on the basis of beta and alpha values on the basis of alpha and beta values we would determine whether the form is too small whether the form is too large whether it is an ambiguous case or whether it is mpss or most productive scale size okay. so let us 